What's up everybody, Big Sweet C here with you. Got a special little video for you today. You know, even though I say I hate it, I love when I get a chance to talk about politics and gaming combined. And uh, specifically when it relates to how the establishment tries to persuade you in one direction over the other. Uh, put the wool over your eyes, if you will. And um, today I got a good one for you uh, because it is it is just that. Uh, so if you haven't heard, my guess is you probably haven't <laughs> uh, because I don't know anybody that has heard of this until I found out about it um, a day or two ago. But the Joe Biden campaign has officially launched its official Animal Crossing New Horizons yard signs. Yeah, yeah. So now you can own your very own Animal crossing new horizons yard sign that shows your support for team joe the biden harris campaign if you don't know who i'm talking about it's joe biden and kamala harris they are the democratic ticket for the presidential nomination and um they are trying to attract younger voters and uh so well let's just jump into this let's uh let, let's see what their intentions were so this is of September 1st. Animal Crossing New Horizons players will be able to deck out their homes with official Joe Biden yard signs as part of the campaign's broader initiative to organize voters online this fall. Since the start of the coronavirus outbreak in the U.S. earlier this year, campaigns like Biden's have been forced to entirely rethink how they organize voters. Instead of in-person rallies, Biden's team has opted for live stream events and fundraisers, along with socially distanced productions and interviews. The entire Democratic National Convention was held virtually earlier this month with most guests streaming in over video software like Zoom to deliver speeches. The Biden-Harris campaign released four sign designs for players to download featuring the official Biden-Harris logo, Team Joe logo, the Joe Pride logo, and an image of an aviator, aviator with sunglasses shaded in red, white, and blue. Players will be able to access the designs in-game by scanning the design QR codes through the Nintendo Switch online app. Okay, so let's uh, let's stop with this first little part right here. This is basically what it is. They are going to give you the option to show your support for the Joe Biden campaign by using the QR codes on the Nintendo Switch app to get you one of these four little images. And um, you can show your pride right then and there. Now, the reason they are doing this is because of certain events that have happened over video games previously that have had very very much success for instance the travis scott concert in fortnite with over 10 million players um and then there was something with minecraft uh i'm not exactly sure what this was i, I don't know who idols and cherry glazer are but apparently they had a festival in a game in a minecraft game so the biden campaign here is trying to engage with these voters uh, as, as soon as they can on a platform where these voters feel safe. So it's, uh, as you can see, it says right here, it is an exciting new opportunity for our campaign to engage and connect Biden Harris supporters as they build a de uh, build and decorate their islands. Christian Tom, director of digital partnerships for the Biden campaign, said in a statement to Verge. As we enter the final campaign stretch towards November, this is one way we are finding new creative and innovative ways to meet voters where they are and bring our supporters together. He goes on to continue, this is just the start of how we plan to engage voters. This is just the start of how we plan to engage players ahead of November as we're already looking forward to rolling out more digital swag, voter education tools, and organizing efforts on Animal Crossing and other platforms. So, on the outside, this doesn't seem too bad, right? It seems kind of like a harmless idea. If you happen to be a Democrat or, you know, maybe you just happen to support Joe Biden and the Democrats in this election, you can show it off uh, by showing your support by purchasing. I, I don't know if you purchase them or they're probably free downloads, uh, but by getting this Biden-Harris swag to put in your virtual world in uh, Animal Crossings. On the surface, doesn't seem like a big deal, and uh, they generally come across as as an attempt to 
woo voters that they might not have been able to reach on a different basis. Now, the problem with this is, and I'm about to ruin this for you, is I'm going to explain to you how this is actually a virtue signaling effort to rein in voters on substanceless ideals as opposed to offering reasons to vote. Now what I mean by that is this is a way for voters to uh, the Biden-Harris campaign to reach out to younger voters who are uh, overwhelmingly not excited to vote for the Joe Biden Kamala Harris campaign and um, now I'm not saying that they're excited to vote for Donald Trump I don't know but they are definitely 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 not excited about the Joe Biden campaign and they have a multitude of reasons why first of all Joe Biden himself has said he has no empathy for Millennials because they haven't lived long enough to experience anything they're just uh, in Kamala Harris's words, dumb. So they have basically shat all over the younger, younger society, and now they are doing anything they can to make up for it by placating to people who play video games. And this might look like a like a handout, you know, like a uh, a reach across the aisle as a way to say, hey, I'm sorry let us all be together but really what they're doing is they're virtual signaling without actually offering any condolences and what I mean by that is if they were really for all these platforms that they say they're for they would not need this the reason they have to resort to stuff like this is because they don't actually offer anything for people to be excited by. Instead of saying, hey, we understand that 60% of all people in America want a Medicare for all program. Instead of embracing that idea, they offer you a fake yard sign. Instead of saying, hey, we understand that student loan debt has kind of gotten out of control. We're gonna do our best to rein in student loan debt they give you an aviator with sunglasses of red, white, and blue. If they were really for the things they say they are. I got into a fight with my friend on Facebook the other day because he said that Joe Biden was for a $15 minimum wage. So I asked him if he's for it, how come nobody knows about this? If he was for a $15 minimum wage, every single time he's on TV, he would say, I am for, and I'm going to fight for, a $15 minimum wage. But the truth is, Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, and the Democrats are not really different than the Republicans and Donald Trump. We do not have two parties in this country. We have one conservative oligarchy with two faces. You've got the ultra-conservative, crazy fascist face, or the, I'm going to sound slightly nicer while I still terrorize our country, fascist. There is no other opportunity. There is no anti-war option. There is no pro-Medicare for all option. There is no pro-Green New Deal option. There is no pro-unions option. Ideologically, the Republicans and the Democrats are the exact same. They both are for war. They both are pro-oligarchy. They are both pro-establishment. To separate themselves, the Democrats do this nonsense. Now, I'm not placating, I'm not uh, saying the Republicans are any better because they don't talk about policy either. They talk about white nationalism and all other sorts of stuff that is, that is terrible as well. But I am not talking about them right now because they are not worth salvaging. When you have a group of people that think that your race gives you a superiority over another race, that is not a person I want to associate with. But instead of coming out and telling you that they're the exact same ideology as the Republicans, they use fake 
nonsense like this to try and persuade you otherwise. We've already seen this happen. Back in 2016, Hillary Clinton had a Pokemon go to the polls moment. Now, it didn't work just like this isn't going to work because this young people more than anybody see behind the facade. They want people that go pro policy. It would be very simple for any either of the two major parties, Democrats or Republicans, to win this election if they just accept one one policy that the younger younger generation wants. Green New Deal, Medicare for all, get rid of student loan debt, fit an actual fifteen dollar minimum wage that you continue to talk about. Not one that you just say you have and then spit out a bunch of platitudes that nobody cares about. Again, if they were for these things, it would be on there. If, if Joe Biden was for Medicare for all, or if he was for, at the very least, a public option, one of these signs would say, vote for Joe is a vote for a public option. If he believed in a $15 minimum wage, one of these yard signs would say a vote for Joe is a vote for a $15 minimum wage. But they don't say these because they don't actually believe in any of this crap. They give you the false bravado of difference at the expense of giving you the exact same trash. Donald Trump is not a problem. Donald Trump is a symptom of a problem. He does not take office if the last however long of neoliberal policy on both the Democrats and the Republican side of the party doesn't continually screwing o screw over the normal, everyday, average Joe people of this country. The reason people were able to be conned by Donald Trump is because they've been so let down by the establishment they were willing to take the risk on an authoritarian figure who said they were going to change the system it was the exact same thing that obama ran on in his election the idea of being the outsider the idea of hope and change the idea of not continuing the status quo he did not govern like that so they went to the other guy who said the exact same thing. I'm not the status quo. Now you have one party that is actively saying we are the status quo. And instead of offering you a new status quo, they give you yard signs in your Animal Crossing virtual island. They do this because they do not care about you. They do not have policies that benefit anybody but themselves and their friends. This is why I always bring this stuff up, because it's not enough to just vote. It's who you vote for. If you keep putting in these puppet politicians, you are going to continue to get an establishment that is run by puppet politicians. Platitudes and cliches instead of policy and change. This failed last time. This will fail this time. You know how I know this is going to fail? I drive down the street. I have literally driven this year alone between Michigan and Nevada at least four times. You know what I do see? Donald Trump signs. You know what I do not see? Joe Biden signs. Doesn't matter. Nevada, Michigan, Colorado, Utah, Wyoming. Red state, blue state. People are not excited for the Joe Biden campaign. And instead of trying to excite people to vote for them, they're giving you this fodder. Because that's what this is. Fodder. Now, I, I'm not surprised Animal Crossing did this. I mean, shoot, the Biden campaign probably gave him a ton of money. And they understand that probably nobody is going to download these ridiculous signs. So it literally doesn't hurt them at all. And if, if anything, it just benefits them. What it does do is it hurts the oppositional voices. 
because this is not opposition. This is, this is virtue signaling. Hey, we connect on a certain level, even though I'm going to govern like the guy I say you should not agree with. This is garbage. This is this. If you want to, if you want to know why our country is in such bad shape, it's because we have one party that gives you this, and one party who takes everything else away from you. You do not have a party that gives anybody anything. Millennials will not fall for this because they are not scared of a socialistic world, like my parents were. We might have been born during the Cold War, but we did not grow up in it. We have socialism in this country. If you've ever collected unemployment, that's socialism. If you've ever gone to a public high school, that's socialism. If you've ever gone to an emergency room, that's socialism. Social Security, Medicare for those who, who have retired, Veteran Affairs, if you are a supporter of our veterans, you cannot get rid of socialism because what takes care of our veterans would be gone. People want substantial change. People want to see somebody out there like Bernie Sanders yelling at the top of their lungs, this is what we're fighting for. This is what we're fighting for. No, I don't care what you have to say about anything other than this is what we're fighting for. This is what we're fighting for. The reason you do not hear that with Joe Biden is because he does not fight for those things. He might say, and his Biden bros online might tell you that he supports this stuff, but if he did, he would be out in public every single day telling you this. He does not tell you this because he does not support this stuff. So just be careful out there. Don't let this kind of nonsense fool you into thinking anything different than what it is. Cookie cutter nonsense meant to be looked upon as an outreach program. This is embarrassing. You should be offended by this. If you consider yourself a Democrat and you see them promoting this and not Medicare for all, you should consider not being a Democrat. Either that or join the Republicans. It's time to get a third opinion out there. It's not enough to just vote anymore. It's not enough to just vote anymore. It's about who you're voting for. You guys might not believe me now. I know most of you guys are a lot younger than I am. At your age, I was not concerned with voting. I didn't care who I voted for. Nothing seemed to be catered toward me. But you guys, you are the future. My life's half over. I'm almost done. To be honest with you, I'm 20 years away from being the age that they will cater to me. You might not have that same amount of time. If you want a decent world to raise your kids in, you have to start fighting now. It does not change with one election. It does not change with two. This is something that is going to take place over time. The civil rights movement was supposed to have ended in the 1960s. We still have black and brown people being shunned upon by establishment authoritarian figures on a daily basis. The fight continues. And it will continue if you keep allowing this nonsense to go out there without calling it out for what it is. Bullshit. Well, that's enough on this one. That's, uh, you know, I just want to bring this to you guys' attention. Again, I'm going to, I know we're a gaming channel, but I do want to bring you guys stuff that comes up when it relates to us on a certain level because there is more to life than gaming. Politics is everything. Politics is everything. 
Thank you guys so, so much for, uh, if you made it this far, do me that favor, hit that like and sub button, hit that notification bell next to it. They have been desubscribing, unsubscribing people from my channel. So uh, if you uh, thought you were subscribed, do me that favor, just check to make sure that you are. Uh, I had a friend send me a picture, send me a video of him trying to resubscribe and it would, it, he'd hit it, it would say subbed and then like two seconds later it would go back to, to this, uh, you know, the unsubscribed thing. So uh, just uh, just be sure that you're actually subscribed um, and, uh, and uh, keep on keeping on. Either way, that's going to do it for, for this one. Big Sweet C, that's me wishing YouTube, that's you. Wonderful day, night, morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time of day it might be. As long as you're watching, I'm wishing you a wonderful watching time. Sweetness. Signing off. Peace.